Yeah, but it wasn't chasing. It was like going down a couple streets. Like, that's like fun to women. Like, women like that. A little no, bit of excitement. Don't. No, they don't. Well, women don't like to be chased. So it's been a little while since we've taken a look at a creep sighting here on the channel, and boy oh boy am I feeling a little unsettled today. Out of all the creeps we've seen in the past, the man in the video we're gonna be watching today may just take the cake as the scariest, most alarming, most delusional, and of course creepiest person I've ever seen, and I don't say that lightly. So for a little quick context right before we get into it, the person who's recording this video is a stalker who actually actually called the police himself for, get this, attempting to justify his stalking behavior shortly after chasing a girl in his car after she tried to get away from him. Pulled away from me, and uh, so I chased her a little bit, just cause, I'm, I don't know, women are crazy, like I felt like she like wanted me to chase her. This man is even so far into his delusions that he's also attempting to file a report against the concerned father of the girl he's stalking, because the dad called him and basically cussed him out, telling him to stay the hell away from his daughter. And yeah, this little summary doesn't even scratch the surface of the absolute lunacy and creepiness of this entire situation, so without further ado, let's just get right into the video. Cracker Barrel, and I was going to play a song for a woman that I kind of like, mm -hmm. and uh, I got there, and she saw me and she immediately pulled away, and uh, I, I wasn't forcing her to listen or anything, you know, mm -hmm. I just wanted to play the song for her. You know, give her her own choice yeah. if she wanted to be with me, you know? Okay. Does she know you? Yeah, I worked with her there for like five, six months. Did y'all have a relationship? No, we were talking a little bit, but it never really got serious. Okay. But anyways, I pulled up there, and I was in the other parking lot, and I saw her get in her car, and I, saw, I was like, oh, shoot, it's my moment. So I pulled up there next to her, and she pulled away from me, and... Uh, so I chased her a little bit, just because, I don't know, women are crazy. Like, I felt like she, like, wanted me to chase her. Do you her. not think chasing somebody's crazy? Well, it's just like, I only went, like, a couple blocks down the street. I'm just saying, don't you think chasing somebody's crazy when they when they obviously don't want to... Well, I had my song playing, and I wanted to like her to hear it, maybe. So right off the bat, this guy is already coming across as a bit of an unhinged lunatic. It's weird how he starts out by saying how this girl he's following has a choice in listening to his song. You know, how he's not forcing it upon her, how she's completely free to not listen to this guy's music. But then he proceeds to just immediately contradict himself by apparently chasing her in his car for multiple blocks. That's just called stalking. There's no choice being being made there anymore. But in his mind, I guess, he sees it as some sort of game. Talking about how women supposedly want you to chase them in your car. I don't know what this guy's definition of choice is, but clearly this girl made her choice in getting the fuck away from you. In fact, driving away. Like, I don't think there's a clearer form of rejection than a girl who gets in her car and starts driving away to get as far the hell away from you as possible. I'm just saying, don't you think chasing somebody's crazy when they're, when they're obviously don't want to... Well, I had my song playing and I wanted to like her to hear it maybe. Well, apparently she didn't want to hear it, right? So what else happened? Let's get on with the story. Um, well, anyways, her, her father called me up and he made some threats to me and to my life. Okay. And so I just want to have his name what, on file. What, what did he say to you? Uh, I think he said he's going to stab me, like, but he, he's like cussing did at me. he said that? He said, he says, I'm going to do something to you. I swear I'd do something to you. For chasing your daughter? Yeah, but it wasn't chasing. It was like going down a couple streets. Like, that's like fun to women. Like, women like that. A no, little bit of excitement. Don't. No, they don't. Women well, don't like to be chased. What about like... If I was a porn. father, I'd probably tell you the same thing. What about like BDS and porn, where women like to be, have rape fantasies? Well, apparently this girl doesn't. Well... Who knows? Most women do like having rape fantasies. Okay. Do you think she does? I don't know. But apparently she don't. Yeah, it's at this point where if this guy wasn't already seen as a serious potential threat in the police's eyes, he sure as shit sounds genuinely dangerous now. It is downright unsettling how delusional this guy sounds to not only try to justify straight up stalking and chasing down a girl, but then to immediately after bring up rape fantasies. If I was this cop, the alarm bells would be going wild right now, and I'm surprised that this confrontation goes as long as it does as we're about 
about to see because surely these could be grounds to arrest somebody on the spot. I don't think that's an exaggeration. What most women do like having rape fantasy. Who the fuck knows what this man is capable of in such a delusional and deranged state and the scariest part about it all is he's making it all sound as nonchalant as possible as well. Oh, I was just stalking this girl I used to work with. It's all in good fun. You know, women love to be chased. Women have rape fantasies as well. That's just common knowledge. Don't you guys know that? If someone is bringing up rape fantasies right after talking about stalking someone, that is a red flag for the ages. This is fucking terrifying. Well, so, so what do you want us to do? Well, I just want you to get his name on file just in case he does do anything do you, do to you me. you know his name? I know his daughter's name. What do you know his name? I know her name. I don't know his name. He called me from a restricted phone number. Okay. Here's, here, here's my suggestion. Leave her alone. Well, this is one song I made, and this was the final chance I was going to have. Here's my chance. Here, here's my advice. It's over. Leave her alone. Okay. The fathers will hurt you over their daughters. Yeah, but that's the thing, is she needs to have her own free will, man. You listen, do you not understand? Listen, I'm a man myself, listen, bro, and listen, I have needs listen, myself. She, she's choosing her free will by telling her daddy what happened to you, and I'm telling you, stay away from her because he will hurt you probably. She's being controlled by him. That's, that's fine. That's fine. That's, that's her choice, right? Free well, choice, free will? I think she should go do porn. Okay, you need to leave. It's legal. You need to leave. Well. We're not doing anything. You need to leave. I'm, I'm having discussion on I'm having discussion telling you to leave. Are you threatening me with arrest? I'm not threatening you. I'm telling you to leave. This we're is done. a public property. We're done. Well, you can stay if you want. If you if you we're if done. you if you do that on public property, I'll, you know, I'll leave you're, under. You're free. You're free to do whatever you want to do right here. But we're not doing anything else. I'm just giving you advice. The girl doesn't want to talk to you. Leave. Yeah, but it's, there's something twisted about that. There's something twisted about the way you think. I, I was gonna let her make her own choice after the song. Well, she's made her choice. And I just don't think she had a reasonable opportunity to make a choice because I'm going to blow up and I'm going to be a famous DJ and I'm going to be like... So I actually decided to look into what music specifically this creep keeps on rambling about because I'm curious now. I want to see what all the fuss is about. And I did end up finding some of the gems, the musical masterpieces this man has produced. And uh, it is it is not good. It sounds like diarrhea. It sounds like a pack of pit bulls raping a mentally challenged child. <laughs> You know, after hearing that, I honestly can't imagine why this guy got rejected. I mean, doesn't every girl want to hear this music while being chased around and stalked by some unhinged lunatic? Just listen to that, it sounds so romantic, it's beautiful, it's straight out of a rom-com movie. I'd be flattered if somebody chased me in their car blasting this music. Yeah, I think it goes without saying that this guy needs to be put on a list. They need to check his basement as soon as possible. And he needs to be arrested immediately. Okay, and I'm gonna be how, like... How old is she? Uh, two years older than me. 27. How much? 27? She don't know make her own mind. I'll speak with her. Is she working today? Uh, I think so. Do you have her phone number? Uh, I believe so. Uh, but I can't stop recording the video. Well, that's okay. I'll go by her job. She works at right? Correct. Okay, I'll speak with her and then I'll get back with you, okay? Alrighty, sounds All good. Right, go. no Thank problem. you, guys. Hello, shit. You know what? Lindsay's dad. I hope you see this fucking video. You know what happens when women don't ever, you know, come to terms with themselves? The bad shit happens. I don't know. Something, um, the cops want to deny me trying to get her to be straight. And her father is controlling the bullshit. I just don't see it. I'm older than your fucking father. That's how I feel right now. I've lived this life. I've been the greatest. I've been down and I've been about. I don't know where this is going, but um, snakes, man. She was gonna lure me in a trap whenever I was gonna go, you know, play a song for her. It's just how it is.
But uh, shout out to all my bros. I know that my dudes. You know, I'm, I'm like I'm really getting depressed recently, you guys. I feel like uh, yeah, it's not faking. Yeah, I can't even begin to respond to most of the nonsense this guy just said. Everything from how he's apparently gonna change this girl's sexuality through his music, to being older than her father despite the woman being two years older than him, and how he's somehow getting lured into a trap by this woman. This man is clearly delusional and dangerous. You know what happens when women don't ever come to terms with themselves? The bad shit happens. All I know is that there is no reality where this dude should be able to roam free among the public. And the craziest part about this entire situation is just the fact that he recorded this himself thinking he was 100% completely in the right. Like this dude got home, rewatched the footage, and not once did it occur in his mind that maybe I'm coming across as an absolute psychopath here. Hopefully this guy gets the help that he needs, but I guess at the end of the day it's probably a good thing that he uploaded this. Alright guys, well as I'm making this video, there is actually a recent update to this story, and it turns out the creep who recorded this did end up getting arrested, thankfully, so at least I can end this video off on a somewhat positive note, but let me know what you guys think of this in the comments. That's like fun to women, like women like that, a little no, bit of excitement. Don't. No, they don't. Well, but anyways, I think that's gonna wrap up today's video. Thanks for watching. Drop a like if you enjoyed the video. Stay tuned for some more juicy videos coming soon to the channel. And uh, peace.